Saying no to others sometimes means saying yes to yourself. I said that. That's my quote. And I share that with you because I had a conversation today with a number of podcasters and the topic was about overwhelm. And it really couldn't come at a better time because I have been in the overwhelm, not just because of the podcast, life in general. And I'm going to open up and share a little bit with you what is going on with me, because you know what, you come here every week, you share the space with me, you tune in, and that means something to me. And I owe this to you. So here's, here's what's going on. I, uh, I have a stepfather who's turning 93 in June and sweet herb, sweet herby derby, as we call him is rapidly declining as he is on the journey with Alzheimer's and dementia. And just as of this week, a decision was made that he would have permanent hospice care, meaning somebody living in my mother's home and his home that would be providing the care he needs all the time, 24 seven, because for the last year, there has been somebody coming in twice a week, helping out. And then it moved most recently, just within the last few weeks, it moved to an overnight nurse staying with him so that my mother could get rest. My sweet 82 year old mother, almost 82, we won't call her 82 yet so that she could get some sleep because she's been the primary caregiver. And that's a lot for anyone, even at my age, to care for somebody who really needs assistance. And just as of this week, the decision was made that somebody would move into the house as he transitions in these, these last stages of his life, these golden years, um, you know, would love for him to last forever, but his quality of life is what matters. And, for Herb, it's good that he has this care. And this has been a lot. It's been a lot emotionally. You know, I, I lost my dad almost 20 years ago to a massive heart attack. And as you know, if you've been a part of this journey with Holistically Speaking, you know, my dad passed from a massive heart attack. He was diabetic. I was around illness my whole life, having a dad with diabetes and seeing this different kind of illness consumes somebody that I care about deeply, that my mother loves deeply, is a lot. And for me, I want to be there for my mom too. And I've been making a lot of trips back and forth to Connecticut a couple hours away to make sure that she has the support and she has a little space and a little time when she can, because it is very overwhelming for her as well. And as much as she is a spitfire and as much as she took care of my father and did the same thing growing up, watching my mother caring for a younger husband at that time when he needed it, as much as he was there cognitively, my dad's physical health did, did suffer. Seeing this kind of responsibility for an 81 year old woman is uh, it, 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 it sits on my heart, you know, and watching my mom say things like, I'm losing my Prince Charming is, is endearing, but it's sad. So I sit here and I think I have a podcast weekly. I have dedicated listeners. I have you and I feel an obligation, but I also feel that I need to be true to myself. So while I had a podcast ready to go, an episode with a great guest that you're going to hear from next week, I made a conscious decision to hold off on that episode so that I could truly put the time and attention into promoting it the way it deserves to be promoted. And it gave me time to sit with you to sit with you in this space, to share space with you, to be transparent, to be authentic, and to share a few things that 
I think could be beneficial for you. So you know my story a little bit (laughs) and what I'm going through right now. And the takeaway from this, because I just want to make this a, a short chat between the two of us. The takeaway here is that when I said that sometimes you have to say no to others so that you can say yes to yourself, I mean that in the most beautiful, selfish way, that in order for me to show up fully, I need to take care of me. And you know this, I talk about this all the time, about the importance of self-care. So I made that choice that when the overwhelm was getting to be too much, all the traveling back and forth, the time and attention, my emotions, let me hold off. Let me share this time with you. Let me let go of the reins a little bit, right? And the second thing I want to share is that in in addition to saying yes to myself and letting go of the reins a little bit and being okay in the discomfort and the tension to ask for help, you know, and I think that's one thing I know for myself is difficult to do is asking for help. And I've gotten better at it. But what I realized when I reached out to people that are in my circle that I care about and that care about me, and even those that I don't know as well, when I shared with them what's going on and said, you know what, hey, I could use a little support or maybe said nothing at all and and just saw that the, the support trickled in regardless People want to show up for you, you know, the right people, the people you align with. And sometimes you just need to ask. And that's kind of leading into what our topic will be next week is that big ask, you know, just being comfortable asking when you need something, when you need help. And we're going to go there. We're going to go there next week, but I'm going to take this time to step back for a couple of days and be with myself and connect with myself and be there for my family and just know that I'm not going anywhere, but I appreciate you. Let me, let me just end it with that. I appreciate you for wondering where I am. Where's the podcast? Where's the next episode? How's Hillary? Because I know those are the kind of people that I align with. And I know that's what holistically speaking is about. So when we have our own traumas and we're working to turn them into those triumphs, I know that I can rely on you to keep coming back every week and know that there's a powerful message here. So on that note, keeping it short and sweet, be kind to your mind. And yes, don't forget to laugh. Be well. I'll see you on the flip.